It's not there anymore. What's the story about anyway? Well, um, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Marv Markov. There's an omni omni ominous looking eye symbol on the front of the cover. Basically, it's about the religious camp that was turned into a human experiment person. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that, and the lust for blood. But the faculty gets even worse and they start selective breeding and people by cutting off their limbs and, and, and asphyxiating them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs <laughs> that kind of the kind of dark isn't it yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story so dark so that dark turn came from nowhere ah uh, are you not a fan of those sort of things tim no it's not that i mean i can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories so don't worry i hope so yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and recluse on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It just seems that kind of story... It's the kind of challenge you look at life from strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Okay! Then suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets what? Whoa, can I go back to that? My whole body... My whole... Fill my thought? It doesn't. Hmm, that's interesting. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So... I'm off, so I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange, and please stop me if I'm start if I'm start talking too much. That's. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Uh, that's well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it right here. Oh. Y yes. I mean, you don't have to, but uh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. All right, it's fine. I'll sit here. I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's right. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone I see well just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything uh, all right I open the book and start the prologue I soon understand what Yuri means by reading in company it's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read it's not a particularly bad thing maybe a little distracting but the f but the feeling is somewhat comforting Yuri is in the corner of my eye I realize that she I realize that that She's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over, and it looks like she's reading my book from my book instead. S sorry, I was just... Ba what did that say? B bathing? Bathing? Ba oh, God. Bathing? Yuri, you just... You really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. Hey, hey! Thank you so much for the follow. Pro Ash Ford. What is it? Pro Ash Ford. Pro Ash Ford. Thank you. Welcome to the fam. I mean, uh, here, this would this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each learn, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead, so instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, uh, uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and her forefinger. Ah, 
I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb. Okay, so you're like, okay. But in holding it, but in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. She's staring at me. Are you ready? <laughs> To turn the page? Oh, ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at Yuri's face again and our eyes met. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little, if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. He, yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own violin. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels in intimate, like an intimate, intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh. No, no, I don't relate to the character at all. Definitely not, really. I was just thinking the way she second guesses at things she says, and all the time. Ah, that's that's what you're that's what you ah that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling okay? Yuri's been little fidgety ever since we started reading you can rest if you're feeling sick or something your breath is a little my breath my breathing you're breathing yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat i i didn't even notice anyway i'm fine i just need some water all right don't push yourself yuri stands up practically rushing out of the classroom what on earth was that about? Tim, did something just happen? Just now? Uh, I, I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So, you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure... I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't worry. I believe you, Sally. Yuri just does this sometimes. It's so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with the sharing of our poems with each other, eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. Well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your own style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really different from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to accept anything from anybody. So, it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'd probably be able to learn something from it. Oh! Yep. Learned, learned, learned a lot from that poem. Yeah. Got, got it. Tim, why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. I'm sorry. Why did you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri is a sick creep. What is happening? That should be obvious by now. 
So just play with me instead. In her face. She needs food. Get her a Snickers. Okay. You don't hate me, Tim, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Please, with me. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Okay, I'm in a bad Resident Evil game. Figured it out. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! Sorry. Oh my! Oh I don't want to play Monica's anymore. I don't like Monica anymore. I don't like this whole damn club. I will never join a literature club in my life, ever. That scared you away from books? <laughs> More so than I already was scared of books. Hi again, Tim. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy with seeing you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh -huh, I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> no. Uh, you never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give her my... Alright, great job, Tim. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go this far. It's so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectation low. That's why I always count my, my effort. Uh, that's not fair. Well, I guess I worked. It worked anyway. You know, that Yuri likes this kind of writing, all right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. You know, I selected a lot of Natsuki stuff on that one. Apparently, that didn't matter. That's cool. Writing that full imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached to reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She depends, she's, she spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interactions. So don't blame her for coming on strong. Like earlier, I think if she, if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Uh, already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad than you... To t I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my own poem now. But anyways, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you like it too. The colors, they won't quite beautiful. This flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cap cacophony, cacophony, cacophony of meaningless noise. Holy cow. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grinning, screeching, piercing, sense, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard at a table, like playing a knife at a breathing rib cage. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage? Holy crap. Endless, you know, kind of, okay, okay, okay. Delete her? Delete her? No! Not more of this. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game, and you never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. I can hear you. Anything? Hello? What's happening? I can hear you. That's my advice for the... Thanks for listening. Don't want to. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. I like just holding it. Uh, I mean, the poem turned out good. It's a... Uh, 
Well, there are some things you could work on, but that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. Haha. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. This is really big. <laughs> a rotating wheel turning an axle grinding. Was it but bolt head bolt head linger linear gearbox. linear gearbox falling sky seven holy skates stakes stakes a docked ship a, a portal, portal to another world a thin rope tied to a thick rope thank you a torn harness parabolic gearbox expanding universe time controlled by slipping cogwheels existence of God swimming op swimming swimming with Open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 time. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, there it is. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and an open human and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. That uh, would have taken me way longer. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on a pen. Uh, that is a pen full f a out of your bat pack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I um, I just really, the way that it writes... So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> Are you Tina from freaking... Never mind. I'm, I'm okay. What did I just... Can, can we pretend this conversation never happened? Can you keep this poem, though? You can keep this poem. Or you can keep this poem, though. You have a lot of special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. It's a hell of a poem. I don't... Can you read that? No, I can't. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone could come sit in the front of the class. This is about the festival. Well, sort of. Ugh. Do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we put together anything good. It's just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look. I know everyone... What? The poster's back. The poster is back. Oh god, it is back! Everyone's been a little more lively ever since Tim joined and we started a club activities. But this isn't the time for us to become complacent. We're, we still only have four members and the festival is all our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered a, an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feeling that brought you here in the first place? The, le the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard, put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Tim? Uh, oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Tim to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to, to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really like any of us here join? Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Tim joined. As for me, I just like it better here than at, I do at home. And Tim isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one here who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our options for once. 
Monica is clearly taken back by Natsuki's words. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Tim want to get more members too, right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to re rescue the situation, um, no, Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club, it's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean that we are against getting new members or anything. Tim, why do you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? No, you've done... Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place to f that feels nice to hang out with new friends. Is there a problem with a club being that for me? There aren't. There aren't many other places like this for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Tim. It's not the same. It's not the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one? I mean, at least for a little bit of time, the th things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't be belong here right now. Natsuki! Mitsuki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. But who cares about the obnoxious brat? Okay. I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. It's so messed up to just see it. Oh, and I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm vice president. It's not right for me to ignore the responsibilities like that. Oh, nobody would cry if she killed- Oh, what the hell? Oh. Why? I, sh I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Tim? What do you want to get out of this club? Your Yuri repeats the same questions as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along and for the club to provide something that you, can, you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contrib contributes their own... Qualities. Yeah, no, I'm looking at her eye oh, dripping oh, gotcha. blood now. Oh, gotcha. You see it? Uh-huh. Their own qualities in a special way. With each chain... With each changing... Chain... Every time I start telling it, confirm. With each... With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's really distracting. <laughs> Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Yeah. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know what I, that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, and also oh, a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah? Let's all go home for the d today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Shall we go, Tim? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Tim before we leave just to see what he thinks of the time he's here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. 
Things have been a little bit hectic lately, haven't they? Tim, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I'm not. Not anymore. Nope. 0% of me is. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like... No! I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as a president. Stop getting all gritty! And I really do care about you. You know, don't you do this. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time with how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. <laughs> what are you going to do? Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only people here. You know what I mean? No. But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've already gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk to you about. Things I know only you would understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No! Giggle. Poof. Laugh. Sugar. Kiss. It doesn't even say it's just, just doing things now. Milk. Socks. Who is that? Who is that? That was... This is not fun. Party. Vanilla. Peace. Sweet. Puppy. Dance. Silly. I don't know why he's doing what he's doing. What's he doing? He's doing ones? He's just doing ones. Huh. Has anything else happened? Not yet. Ribbon. Heart. Cute. Cheer. She's still down there. Good.